Caleb Hughes the best on a 34 here. Today, um, first off, I want to apologize to Metric Speedy. Um, he's one of my faithful subscribers, and he's really awesome guy. Check out his channel, Metric Speedy. He asked me to do a review on the Rapala DT6 in the Demon Color, and I finally got my hands on this bait today. And so, here it is, the Rapala DT6 in the Demon Color. Demon Color is one of Mike Iaconelli's custom inks. And he takes Rapala baits and applies custom colors to them. And these custom colors are really just phenomenal. Phenomenal colors on phenomenal baits. Now DT, Rapala DT crankbaits are just uh, incredible. And I'll explain to you why they're so much different from normal crankbaits. I'll give you an illustration here. Alright, this is going to be a very crude drawing. I'll just warn you. All right, you got your fishing rod, and let's say you cast. This is just for any standard crankbait. This pin is starting to bleed. So what's going to happen with your normal crankbait? Let's say this right here is the six foot range. What's going to happen is, um, pretty much, your crankbait's going to dive to at the peak of its cast down to six feet and then take this angle and pull this number back up to you so if your fish are holding in this range right here then it's hitting it at the peak of its cast but only for that moment there's some times we're keeping your lure in the strike zone longer I mean you always want to do that you want to keep your lure in the strike zone for as long as possible now I'll turn it over here and show you the difference between that and a DT crankbait. Okay. Okay. So you make your cast, and this is the DT bait. This is an example of DT crankbaits. And so, pretty much, if this is your six foot range right here, instead of taking this um, curved angle right there like a normal crankbait, your DT crankbait is going to come down to the desired depth range of six foot and then stay there the entire length of the cast. So these are some crude looking fish here. And by crude, I mean very unprofessional. So if your fish are holding in this range right here, keeping by keeping that lure in the six foot depth range, instead of just hitting it at one point in your cast, Gives, keeps your lure in the strike zone longer, creates a better presentation, and in turn will most likely catch you more bass. Now I will say that if I was just trying to find out where fish were at, if I had an idea what depth fish were at, I'd probably use a normal crankbait to figure out exactly what depth they're hitting, and then to specifically target that depth range, I'd hit it with a DT. And so, there, I mean, there's a lot of awesome crankbaits out there that you'll see me using, but I just really love using these Rapala DT baits. Now, specifics about the Rapala DT6. DT6, all DT stands for simply is dives to. DT6 dives to 6. Now, I told you about this color. There's another color just like it in darkish green with the same pattern called Mardi Gras. I don't know how productive that is. But... This is a balsa wood construction. Um, some crankbaits are like hard as plastic, so you can make really create reaction strikes and bounce them off cover. Now you could do this with that with this, but this will take scratches a little easier and is not quite as durable as harder crankbaits, which is why sometimes I like using other crankbaits if I'm fishing and hit really like around rocks or trying to chug along like chugging along the bottom with a crankbait and that's really just something that you might consider but this bait does bounce off cover very well even though I mean, it's not a square bill but you can run it through cover you can do that this is a very dependable bait I'm pro you're probably looking at this hook right here and a lot of Rapala's newer baits they have this is called the sure set hook Right, you got your standard treble in the front, right? And in the back, pretty much, you just have your um, sure set hook. Now, all your sure set hook does 
it's you know wider and it's more extended so fish are coming off this this wider gap right here this wide gap and the sharp point are probably going to keep the fish held on longer than a small treble which they could shake whereas this wider gap they'll most likely stay on longer and I really like the sure set hooks my DT10 does not have the sure set hook but this and my DT4 do so yeah in pre-spawn when um, crawfish crankbaits and crawfish lipless and crawfish jigs are really in and fish might be along rocks in that six foot depth range I might find this as a good pre-spawn lure and also on some of the warmer days in the winter when fish are starting to move up a little bit and I want to hit them with a crankbait if they're in the six foot range in these ponds I might hit them with this crankbait well anyway guys um, metric speedy there's your review for this Rapala DT6 crankbait thank you for recommending me to this because I know I'll be a better fisherman with this bait and I mean it's always just nice to have another DT crankbait because they're just so awesome so anyway thank you for watching this video um, tight line stay outdoors you have a God-blessed day. Like, comment, subscribe.